Britain 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought. Until now, after decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking, and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment. 
47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere.
I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? You can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. You'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. November Zulu, over. Here we go again. Okay, that's it. No more games. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47?
Adams called in sick today, of all days. His Highness has everyone working. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. I need you to follow me. Are we clear? Don't pay you. Drop the gun. Sheikh Al-Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Under function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Way. Hide, 47. Hey, you! Show me those hands! Lord, I'm gonna have to take you with me. Forty-seven reinforcements are incoming. More guards on their way.
working. Right there. That's Marcus Stuyvesant. Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. Still down at the depot, getting uniform. I hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work at that Dowwood Ranch. How are you?
never complained about it before. I'm sorry, but Mr. Ingram, who is the Royal Highness's guest, has requested no noise of any kind. Okay, but it means I'll work slower. I don't care what tempo you work. It will be slow, and I'll probably get a warning about that. Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balled billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. issue one That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. 
If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough.